Hey, Crucible Arms here. Thanks for joining us again. Today I want to talk about a couple of classic cowboy guns. The Schofield Top Break Model 3 and the Colt Single Action Army. Now both of these are actually replicas made by Uberti. High quality, 99.9% .9 authentic to the original design. Uberti has been building these guns for quite some time. You know, there's a ton of history behind both of these guns and there's places all over the internet where you can find that. What I want to talk about today, rather than specifically their history, which does make them very cool, is really the other cool part, and that is shooting them. They shoot so much differently than a modern handgun, even a modern revolver. Both of these are single actions, meaning that you've got to pull the hammer back in between each and every round. They're heavy, all metal. There's some very early versions of the bore through cylinder. But what's really cool is they were designed really to be shot with one hand. And they utilized the 45 Colt round. Now, the Schofield wasn't originally designed with the 45 Colt in mind. It had a number of different cartridges that were available for it, went through different iterations. But in the replicas, one of the most popular is the 45 Colt cartridge. One of the things I really enjoy about this pistol is not just a standard Uberti Cattleman. Uh, this is actually what they call the El Patron Beliza, uh, chambered in 45 Colt, but that uh, means that they've done the engraving. Now there's two types of engraving that you can have done on the cylinder. One is a computerized engraving, which I'm pretty sure that's what this is. They also have some models where they're hand engraved, which this isn't because I think the pricing would be a lot higher if it was. Uh, these are very affordable. The Uberti's in general are very affordable cowboy guns. So uh, if you're looking to get into the game, this is a really cost-effective way to do it. And I'll tell you, um, from a replica standpoint, these are very, very true to the original versions. In order to load it, you have to go to a half cock. You can see there that it's actually got the firing pin on the hammer, just as the originals did. And because of that, you don't want this resting on a live chamber. So you half cock it, open the gate, and it exposes your cylinders. You put in your first round, rotate one, leave the second one empty, go to your next chamber, load around, load around, load around, and load around. Close the gate. Now you pull it all the way back to a full cock and let it come down. It's now resting on an empty chamber. You may or may not be able to see that on the camera, but this is the safe way to handle a loaded single action army. So even though it's a six shot revolver, typically you'll only carry five shots in it. It'd be the same thing with the Schofield, and we'll show you how that loads up in just a minute. So to unload it when you're done, the spent casings go to a half cock that frees up the cylinder. Now this cylinder indexes only one direction. The scope field, we'll show you later, will index both directions. In other words, this will roll both ways. This only goes one direction. Open the gate, and now you've got this little uh, lever right here, and it's just a rod. And it pushes, pushes it out. Go to the next round, push it out. That one's the empty chamber. I'm causing my own problems here, just so you know. This is me, not the, not the pistol. And now you're clear. Again, go to a full cock, release the hammer. You can either walk it back or just release it as long as you're safely downrange. The Model 3 is even easier to load than the single action army. You go to that half cock position, and the rear sight actually is the latch to break open the top. Once you've got it open, now you have access to all the cylinders. You don't have to rotate or index anything until you're done loading it. So again, you go with your five rounds, and you want to leave this chamber empty. So as long as you've got this chamber straight up on top, leave that one empty. 
close it, again go to a full cock and lower the hammer and you're again on an empty round. So this is in a safe condition to shoot. Hammer down on an empty round. Again, it turns a six cylinder revolver into a five shot revolver, but that's the safe way to carry him. So now unloading the Model 3 is actually simpler than the single action army as well. Half cock once again, release that back, and now you're going to pop it over. So you can see that extractor arm, when you do that, pulls them all out and then pops back into place. Now the idea was supposedly that when cavalry used this pistol, they would be able to, once they had fired all the rounds, they'd be able to uncock this and actually sweep it against their thigh to be able to pop this open, get them all out, and make it easier to reload. I'm not sure how practical that actually was, uh, but it is simpler to reload and reload and unload this than it is the single action army. So there you have it. The Uberti replica single action army, as well as the Model 3, often known as the Schofield. If you haven't had a chance to shoot one of these, uh, I highly recommend it. It is just a lot of fun. It does have that whole historical perspective to it, and it has such a different feel than the modern firearms. So if you get your hands on one of these, they're reasonably priced. They're not ridiculously expensive uh, as compared to their originals, uh, and they are very, very fine replicas. Thanks again for joining us. This is Crucible Arms. If you like this video, please comment down below, like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. You can also find me at Facebook on www.facebook.com forward slash Crucible Arms. Once again, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Oh, God. Accuracy, dude. Little hip shooting here? Yeah, so we'll, uh, as long as we're playing cowboy. Yeah. I don't know how you'd hit anything. I was going to say, from what I saw, you weren't hitting shit. No. I bet you I wouldn't either. Now, granted, anybody practices at anything, but uh, I think it just proves that movies are still movies. <laughs>